What is up, everybody? This is the Wrestling Fan 410. Back again with another video. WrestleMania 29 just got off the air. Might I say, it was a great show in my opinion. It wasn't fantastic, but I definitely enjoyed it. I definitely had a lot of fun. There were some great matches. You know what? Let's just get on to the card. First off, the pre-show, which in my opinion did not need to be an hour. It was boring as crap, in my opinion. And the match was only like five minutes long. But The Miz is the new Intercontinental Champion. Winning with the figure four leg lock. It was a good match, but it definitely could have been like a lot longer if they had that much time in the pre-show. But it was whatever. It was a decent match anyway. Starting off the show was The Shield versus Sheamus, Randy Orton, and The Big Show. This was definitely a fun match. Um, the Shield got the victory when Randy Orton, uh, Randy Orton was going for the was going for the RKO on Dean Ambrose, but then hit it on uh, Seth Rollins when he flew off the top rope, and um, then Roman Reigns speared him to get the 1-2-3. Big Show got pissed off because he was supposed to get the tag, and he basically turned heel again and knocked out Sheamus and Randy Orton. Uh, great match. It was a whatever ending, though. Next match, and definitely, in my opinion, the worst match of the night, Mark Henry versus Ryback. Mark Henry actually picked up the victory in one of the stupidest endings in I really didn't like it. Um, uh, Ryback had uh, Mark Henry up for the shell shock, and then, um, but Mark Henry grabbed the rope and then just fell on top of him and got the uh, got the three count. It really didn't mean anything because you could tell already that Ryback could lift him, so it really didn't do anything. But then after the match. Ryback did end up hitting shell shock on Mark Henry. Um, next match is the Tag Team Championship match. Team Hell No versus Dolph Ziggler and Big E Langston. This was a fun match. It wasn't very memorable, but uh, Team Hell No retained um, when hitting Dolph Ziggler with the... Uh, I believe just the choke slam and then the uh, flying headbutt or something. Whatever they usually finish their moves with. I mean, matches with. So I'm pretty tired. Next match Chris Jericho versus Fondango. And the winner is. Uh, Fondango got the win just with a roll up after. Chris Jericho injured his knee. I really didn't see how he story like in the match injured it, but apparently he did. It was a very ugly looking ending to the match. It didn't look good at all, but the match itself was okay, I guess. Um, next, Jack Swagger and Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio picked up the win in what I thought could have been a better match considering it had a pretty good build. Um, I kind of wish that uh, Ricardo and Zeb Coulter had a bigger um, role in the actual match. I mean, Zeb was talking throughout the whole match and then they did have their little one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. But I wish it was kind of like building up through the match instead of just happening Wow, I cannot see. But you guys know what I mean. Like, I, I just kind of wish they built it up before it actually happened. Um, but overall, it was a good match. Um, Del Rio picked up the win with the cross arm breaker, and there was no cash in at the end. Nothing happened. Next match, in my opinion, match of the night, CM Punk and The Undertaker both had amazing entrances. Um, CM Punk with 
um, it's a performance by Living Color, and then Undertaker coming out, and they had all these people like falling and lifting their hands up. It looked really cool. Uh, but overall, this match was fantastic. A lot of near falls, as you would expect. Just a awesome, awesome match. It started off kind of, I don't want to say kind of slow because it did start off fast, but like. I wasn't really into it at first, but near the end it really, really got me, and it was just a lot of fun. Um, obviously, just like usual, Undertaker picked up the win with the Tombstone. Next match, um, Triple H versus Brock Lesnar, no holds barred. Triple H picked up the victory after getting three Kamara locks on him and a, uh, and a pedigree onto the steel step. Overall, the match was, it was fun, but I think everyone was tired out um, from the match before that, but they really got the crowd at the end, and it just, it was fantastic. It was a lot better than their first match isn't saying much because their first match sucked in my opinion. I'm sorry. If you guys liked it, then let me know. Please don't like get mad at me for saying that because that's just my opinion. But this match was a lot better. And then the main event because they cut out the eight man tag match which I'm totally fine with. I really did not want to see it. But John Cena and The Rock Overall, I thought this was definitely a better match than last year. It was still kind of meh, but um, it was definitely a fun match, to say the least, uh, especially near the end. Uh, John Cena, like, they were just building up, like, what happened last year and stuff, and after uh, John Cena went for the people's elbow again, when he lost last time, this time he held on to the rope and stuff like that. They just made it seem like last year, except this year John Cena, like they're building up the story that John Cena is not, not going to make the mistake that he did make last year. Um, and then John Cena got the win with the attitude adjustment. And um, it was weird. I really thought at the end. Like, I was hoping for a heel turn. I'm not going to cry that it didn't happen. I thought the match was good as it is. It told a told a good story. And then the ending was... I thought, like, what happened after the match was fantastic as well. Um, it was kind of... John Cena didn't hold up the title at all. Like, while he was walking up the ramp or anything. But they basically had, like, a minute-long hug and they were talking to each other. Then, um... John Cena just gave The Rock the ring, like just said, I was thinking that it was going to be like his farewell, but then I remembered that he's scheduled for Extreme Rules, I believe, so if he's in a match, then it's kind of weird, because it seemed like a pretty good send-off, and it seemed like a good passing of the torch, but anyways, um, yeah, the, the Rock just... He just celebrated his loss, I guess. And then, um, then they met at the top, and they basically just ended the show with a pose together with fireworks in the background. It looked great, and it was an awesome show. Like, I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. The set looked amazing. Uh, the crowd was great. Um... You had 80,676 packed into the MetLife Stadium. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if it's kind of crap. I'm really tired right now. But I thought I would give you guys a review anyways. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Enjoy Raw tomorrow, and I'll see you next time. Peace.